up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. So quiet, man. Quarantine, what is going on? So check this out. I was looking in the comments. And you guys know I do a lot of roughing and super alloys and titanium. I'm always using the Harvey 3, getting after it, crazy MRR. And then you saw the Harvey 1 TE come out. Boom, took steel, just drove right through steel, like full slot, like boom. Just dropped down, ramp, ramping at 45 degrees, boom. And everybody's like, whoa, is that better than the Harvey 3? Like, what's the difference? And they keep asking me the question. So I thought, you know what? Today's a great day. Let's just go into my tool crib and I'll simply show you the two tools and I'll explain the differences and when to use them. Boom, we're gonna answer some questions. Let's go. Oh, this guy's so beautiful. Check it out. This is the Harvey 3, the TJDE. Oh, look at that, look at that. Boom. Now, oh, look at that, it's so beautiful. So you got the safe lock grooves. These actually slide into a sleeve and they lock so when you're milling, that tool cannot come out, right? It's got the chip splitters and it's a Harvey 3. Crazy. This is the baddest tool on the planet, says Boeing. It won the Boeing Challenge and uh, not just a Boeing challenge, but you know, it's a challenge where now they purchase a huge amount of these tools to rough all of their titanium and stuff. So awesome, right? Now look at the flutes, especially this like gash right in here. Like see that angle right there? So when you, when you see me using this tool, you'll see that we're actually dropping all the way down, boom, using the entire side of it, taking a small radial cut, and we're just exploding, you know? When you look at titanium, you know, a lot of people talk about titanium and they're talking 175 surface foot. Because we're radial milling or peripheral milling, we're able to get the surface footage all the way up to 400, 500, 560, and just, and our MRR just goes through the roof. Absolutely beautiful cutter right and we call it the zombie mill this thing lasts forever in titanium and inconel and super alloys now watch this now this is a harvey three it's a six foot this is a harvey one te this one's already getting well towards yes yeah, same gas right there look at that look at that angle on it and look at the flute as it comes through boom see that like it's crazy, like it is just absolutely beautiful. Now, if you're peripheral milling and you're taking the same radial depth of cut, this guy is not gonna compete with this simply because you have four flutes, right? But they're not supposed to compete with each other because as machinists, we have to understand when to use certain tools. So on this guy, I'm gonna profile huge parts i'm going to go into pockets and i'm going to use like an opti rough and i'm just going to get after it right taking deep cuts small radial huge mrr but when you're down inside that pocket and you have to full slot you would go away from something like this and you would go to something like this now, I did a video a while back showing how this bad boy right here can slot. Like, it terrorizes material, you know? And a lot of people were freaking out. But like the Matrix, right? I'm like Morpheus. I'm just trying to free your mind to show you something so outrageous that when you know that you're at 10% of that, don't be scared because it can handle it, right? So. We actually went in 1018 steel, we went straight down and we just went straight into the cut. Huge surface foot, huge MRR, huge feed, boom, and it just went straight through the steel, boom, and it handled it, it did not break. And that's the point that I was making, it's like it didn't break. And then we also showed it just ramping. Now, when you look at a tool like this, this tool, is used for peripheral milling, right? So you don't ramp with this. And if you ramp, like in titanium, you ramp at like two degrees. It's a gradual ramp. Where this one, because of the way it's designed, you literally can go at a 45 degree angle and just ramp straight down. 
when we were working on the huge titanium aerospace part on the Makino, I used this guy, OptiRough, went all around it, took all the material off, but I still had some pockets, right? And sometimes I pre-drill those pockets, but these pockets, they weren't super deep. So I simply took out the three. It did an amazing job getting all the material off. And then I brought in the TE and I simply went in and while doing the pockets without pre-drilling, I ramped at 15 degrees, boom, ramp, boom, and just roughed out the pockets super clean. And I did that because of the geometry, because of the beauty of this tool. So when you're doing full slotting, taking big cuts, you're in tight spaces, you need to ramp down in tight spaces, you use the Harvey TE, this guy is an absolute beast. But when you're doing peripheral milling and you need your MRR to be through the roof, there is no better tool on the planet than the Harvey 3, the TJDE. Uh, both of them are absolutely amazing tools. They both solve huge problems. Uh, and when it comes to aerospace machining, when it comes to like cutting titanium and super alloys, there are no better end mills on the planet, period.